Hello. Hey, this is Brandon Skull. This is Charlie Adler with I Drink on the Job interviewing Brandon Skull from DC Brow, DC's first brewery in 60 years. Congratulations, Thank Brandon. You. Thank you very much. Tell me a little bit about now. How did you decide to get in the business? What's your background, first of all? Well, uh, my background is uh, from wine. I've been in selling wine for probably the past six years. First as a distributor in Northern Virginia, uh, as a importer uh, based out of New York, and now you know doing this with the brewery project. What made you decide to choose DC to open a brewery? I mean, come on, it must have been—it well, e would have been easier to do it in Virginia or your West Virginia or anywhere else. Well, Why DC? I, I have lived in DC my whole life. I've been—I uh, mean, I actually grew up in the suburbs of DC, but I went to high school in DC, went to college in DC. I love the city. I love this town. Never left. It just seemed like the appropriate thing to do, especially since DC hadn't had a, you know, full-scale production package facility in. Uh, you know, almost 60 years, it seemed like this was something that was needing to be done, and, uh, you know, I wanted to be the one to do it. Tell me, now you're DC's first brewer, for other potential brewers in this city, yeah, potential competitors, tell me, what, what are some of the loop, what are some of the things you learned from this experience? Well, the first thing I learned is always have a good lawyer. Uh, I'm, I'm DC, serious yeah. about that, 100%. I mean, and those costs up front, you know, they, they scare you a little bit, but honestly, the best thing you can do is lawyer up, get a guy who, especially if you're trying to raise investments, knows how to, uh, to, to help you put together a proper investment package, because it's a lot more than just the business plan. You, you really need to make sure that you're, you have a solid offering document before you go out there in, in the market and try to collect funds. And, you, you know, the whole way through, you need somebody helping to advise you uh, legally, or it can end up uh, over a lot quicker than you, than you think. But uh, in addition to that, you know, I mean, mainly just don't give up. There's, was, I mean, like a hundred yeah. times at least during this whole procedure where Jeff and I were like, this isn't going to happen. So we get, you know? see, uh, Jeff is over there. Well, we'll get him, we'll get him we, later. Uh, I mean, there, there was just countless times when it seemed like all hope was lost. And, <laughs> you know, if you just keep pushing, keep trying, there is a way. Uh, when did you finally know that you were going to open, going to be the first brewery? When did it all kind of come to a head that, hey... We're gonna actually get this done. We're gonna we're actually gonna open a brewery. I I, I still don't think that we've uh, <laughs> we've gotten there. Here's all their cans. <laughs> Tell me just a little bit about your first beer. What's coming out? Sure. And, our first uh, beer is called the Public. Uh, okay. It's a very hop forward American pale ale. Um, it's going to be in draft and on uh, and in can. Uh, we use a uh, a pretty cool proprietary blend hop from Hop Union. Not a lot of people have used it yet. Falconer's Flight. Okay. Uh, it's a very aromatic uh, uh, blend of hop. There's a little bit of Simcoe, a little bit of Citra in there. So you have this really nice kind of grapefruit character coming through with it. Um, we also use Centennial in there, so you get a little nice uh, kind of tropical uh, fruit flavor to it as well. So but that's, uh, this is going to be this is the one that's going into bars and restaurants now. That's well, right. This is the one that's in here right now. Then okay. after that, we've got um, an IPA coming out, uh, which is a really really hop forward, uh, almost West Coast style IPA. Okay. So you can look for that. That's going to be uh, a single hop IPA actually. Um, so look out for that with Columbus for the for the main hop. Okay. Uh, and then we've got a Belgian style. Uh, beer that will be coming probably in about a month from now. We'll start brewing that one. Um, and that's just going to be really fruity and funky. Uh, look for that. We're using a yeast from uh, Antwerp on that one, so we're really excited. Um, we're really big into the whole kind of you know, American Belgian cross style. I think we think that's pretty cool. Well, being, both of us being wine guys, tell me, how is beer, how's beer becoming your favorite uh, drink with food? Or how, how do you right. see beer relate to wine? Because well, the I wine people that, get, uh, you know. I think 100%, without a doubt, beer is just as parable with food as wine. Uh, you know, I think I see them as absolute equals in that regard. Both of them are gonna are gonna change and. Uh, you know, change basically your palate, what's going on with, with the food that you're eating. Um, you know, whether you're having, if you're having spiced crawfish or if you're having a steak or whatever, uh, you can pair a beer with it and it's going to come out uh, better for the experience. You know, uh, wine, well, I always think of wine, I think of, I think of pairing with food as far as the acidity of wine, really stripping your palate, you know, preparing you for the next bite so every bite is just as fresh as fresh. the first, right. but at the same time giving you a little bit of, you know, extra sensation that's enjoyable. Um, you know, I think beer can uh, can pretty much do the same thing. Okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, coming from the wine industry, the beer industry is, is uh, just as enjoyable, just as many enjoyable people 
Uh, but it's just very relaxed, and everybody I've met in this industry is, is a really chill person. So. Yeah, it's a really cool people. I, I wanted to thank Brandon Skull. And by the way, the first brewery to sign up, DC Bra, with the Mid-Atlantic Craft Brew Festival. Thank you, Brandon. This is Charlie Adler with I Drink on the Job.